Hello, I'm Mary Gordon from Roots of Empathy, and I'm happy to speak to you today about children's play. I mean the kind of play that's unstructured, old fashioned if you like, unplanned, no rules. Some people call it uh, dramatic play or free play. Whatever it is, I'm talking about the kind of play where there are no rules, no adult supervision, no structure, where children are unbridled to use their imagination and creativity to construct their own reality. This is the kind of play that most supports cognitive development, that most supports emotional development, that most supports social learning. So I don't know why we quite don't value it as much as we might, but hear me through and see if you want to change your mind about how you value your children's free play. Remember when they were babies, they would play all day trying to make sense of their world. Everything they were doing was trying to understand. They were problem solving. It was deep cognitive activity. And we know that that first year of life is the biggest learning in the whole lifespan, completely through play, through unstructured play. So if we think about the benefits of play, children are learning if unstructured play, how to collaborate. They're also manifesting themselves through free play. The idea that they can use their own imagination to become whoever they want to be, to construct what is not in the world at the moment, to be completely creative. And I guess the whole idea of risk taking, when you have free play, children have permission to take risks, not dangerous things, but to do things that we wouldn't have instructed them to do. So the idea of instruction is antithetical to free play. The idea is that the child is the protagonist. The child is in charge. They are setting the rules. They are creating their own standards for what is safe, what can I do, what should I do? So this whole idea of letting children free, you know, letting them play outside without wind up toys, giving them toys which are not predetermined, where the child is the player, not the motor, not the battery not a preconceived outcome. Children are at their most creative and their deepest learning happens when they are in the driver's seat, so to speak. If you put a two-year-old or a three-year-old in a car, gave them a cardboard box, the first thing they do is get in it. And they would decide, they pretend, who am I going to be? That is creative thinking at its zenith. If you gave the same box to children in a kindergarten, five and six year olds, they probably prefer that to some structured play because they would create their own, their own play. They would assign roles. They'd be at a different stage of play from the two, three year old in the cardboard box. They would be cooperating and organizing. They would be creating the kind of skill set that we need. People who know how to work together, who can take a plan, who can problem solve together. They would probably organize a train station and passengers and other things that could serve as parts of a train. So right throughout the lifespan, we have the potential to play. And unfortunately, rules very often take the place and games take the place of pure unstructured play. There is a place for all of that. But if we forget the brilliance and the creativity of free play, we might find ourselves in adulthood without the ability to find ourselves like we used to, to remember ourselves. So I would just like to say three cheers for finding ways to recover and recapture the spirit of the play that we felt when we were little children. We will be happier for it and our well-being will be increased.